Ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Hobson Promotions in association with Primetime, Corona and StuartGroves.com. He's proud to present 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the vacant IBF Fantasyweight Championship of the World. This bout is officially sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. Their supervisor this evening is Mr. Lindsay Tucker from New Jersey. Your representative on behalf of the British Boxing Board of Control is Mr. Robert Smith from Cardiff. Your three scoring judges are Holger Wieman from Germany, Alfredo Polanco from Mexico, and Mr. Dave Paris from Leeds. Your time giver at the bell is Mr. Barry Pinder from England, and your referee when the action gets underway is Mr. Howard Foster from England. People of Doncaster and those watching around the world, are you ready to go? Two, two, two! Introducing to you firstly in the blue corner, wearing red shorts trimmed with silver. He weighed in at eight stone, three pounds, 12 ounces. He brings to the ring a perfect professional record of 24 wins from 24 contests. A stunning 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout from Estado de Mexico in Mexico, Julio Poito. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner wearing red shorts trimmed with gold. He tipped the scales at eight stone, five pound, 12 ounces. From his 23 professional contests, his record reached 20 wins, one draw and just two defeats. Nine of those wins coming inside the scheduled distance. Undefeated as a champion, he successfully defended the British European and Commonwealth Bantamweight titles. He's a fighting pride of Doncaster, England. Jamie McDonald. <laughs> Referee Howard Foster will now give both boxers their final instructions. dressing room, you both know what I expect, keep it clean, break straight away when told, both watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both, touch gloves. 15 of Julio Seja's fights, of those wins, those 22 stoppage wins, have come inside the first three rounds. Jamie McDonnell on this cold night here in Doncaster, has to stay away from those power punches, particularly in the early stages. He knows that, he's got his game plan, and he's also said, as you hear the noise around the Keep Mode Stadium, that home support is going to probably win me this fight. He's going to have to be inspired. 27 years old, seven years, say has seen him. and the reach advantage at least a couple of inches taller than Seha To Jamie McDonald. Yeah, he's got a lovely, nice left jab done. I think he's going to need to stop and set tonight. See how looks nice and relaxed and composed for such a young lad. Donald Camp 
as I uh, spoke to them during the week, that say have for all his explosive power and his terrific knockout percentage, that a lot of it comes off the powerful left hand. And that from a boxing point of view, they think that McDonnell has the advantage and they think he'll outbox him. Yeah, well, he has, he's thrown a few little right hands, John, to start with, but there's no real spite in him. He's a, and, he, and he does tend to sort of lean over a little bit, which, which would suggest that his weight's on his front foot, which is probably the reason he gets all the power into his left foot. But in doing so, he's le he must lean over a little bit. So, Dean McDonald's got to try and take advantage of that, get that jab going. And when he does lean over and try and try and land that left foot, he's got to let him, he's got to counter, counter him with the, the right hand. But if you have studied Julio Sayan and a look at his work, then you'll know that if you do get dragged into toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanges, suddenly looking at most of the fights that he's had in his career so far, then he's had the final year with his power like that. That's the shot, that's the left hook. Yeah, he doesn't want to start getting on the front foot just yet, McDonald. Two or three rounds out of the way first, John. Take the sting out of him. And the songs and the chants are going up for Jamie McDonnell, and it's a quiet opening round. Not a lot from Say Howe, apart from that one big left hook inside. And McDonnell boxed pretty nicely, settled down well. Yeah, tried to get his range a little bit, sticking a jab out. Neither of them landed too much of no, just that, as you say, that one body shot from Say Hard. Well, it's going to go very tight on the ground again. He's a little bit busy, so I'll scope it out to him. He's only looking into, you know that, don't you? He's only looking into that right hand, so that's what you're doing. Take the time. You're all right, just keep stepping, don't stay in front of him. Keep your punches. Keep feet that discipline. Keep tight. If you're tight and throw that left up, he's throw your right hand. That's the one he's going to go for overhand shot. If you try with that right hand, then he'll come up left up. Just keep trying, just keep trying to pick the punches. Find that right hand. Well, first three minutes, game plan executed. If McDonald keeps on like that, it's going to be OK. But, uh, of course, we all know that it's going to get very much more feisty before too much longer. One way or the other. Yeah, I've got a feeling say hard just had a little bit of a look at McDonald in that round. And he's going to put his foot down a little bit in this round to see, see what shots are, are open to him. Polito, they call it. Which uh, literally means little chicken. I gather from uh, Mexican sources that it uh, means pretty boy. I want to thought he suggested that he's a little bit scared. No, he's certainly not chicken, is he? Nice job there from that battle. Been boxing since he was 11 years old, say, huh? Best win, arguably, against Cruz Carvajal, former WBO champion, who he uh, stopped in three. And a few other faded title challenges on the record. Ronald Barrera, Gennaro Garcia, who he said was his toughest fight, Luis Melendez. Lucky for that body shot there, John. Sinking one downstairs, he seems to get to get his feet in a little bit quicker now. He well, does throw that shot with great effect. It's a kind of Hatton-esque punch, isn't it? There it is again. Trying to work the body of McDonald, who covers up nicely. Needs to stay away from that, though. Doesn't want to be a stationary target. There he goes again. Donald doesn't want to set his feet, he doesn't want to hold his ground, he wants to get on the back. But when Sehar comes in, he needs to get his feet out of range. There's not a lot comes to the right-hand side of Sehar. Good from McDonald. He has fast hands. Nice left up to the body as well, John. Again, as soon as as soon as McDonald stops stops in his tracks, 
He leaves himself open for that left up to the body. It's a thudding and hurtful punch. Some well-respected judges in Mexico think that this guy could be a Mexican superstar in the making. Well, we'll see. Bookies, as you may have heard, is referring to earlier, made making Jamie McDonnell a 9-5 outsider in this fight. That's right out there by Jamie McDonnell. That's what he needs to do. He needs to make him miss a counter. Better round that, though, from Sehar. Landed some good, solid body shots. Yeah, much better round from Sehar. Getting his feet in close up. Let his hands go the ball in that round. Seems to be warming to the task. Even in his cold weather job. We keep talking about the conditions here, but it's surely going to be a factor in this fight. And Sehad just won't be won't be used to this this sort of this sort of environment. Early stages yet, and you see here he's powering in that left hook. That's the trademark shot. That's it. He's found his range with it already. A lot of that is to do with Jamie standing still. You know, he's, he's sort of dipping down with his hands up nice and tight, but. But good body punches always find, the, find, the, find those little gaps on the side of the elbows. You've got to be careful there. Saying I said that all the people in the world won't help him, won't help defend him from my power. So the support, overwhelmingly, of course, for the Doncaster man. But Seha coming back well in that second round. And he looked to me as though he took it. And that's another big left hook. Yeah, he looks very, very dangerous with that job. Slipping it over the middle as well now and round the sides. Nice and relaxed, say how as he comes forward. And McDonald just trying to cover up, trying the tactic is to take him into the later rounds when they think that his experience and his fitness will be enough to prevail. That's good from McDonald. But say how keeps coming forward and here comes the body attack again. Yeah, he just don't want to stand there, Jamie. He needs to get off those ropes. Stay mobile on those feet. Nice right hand there by Jamie. That's a nice right hand counter though from McDonald. Trying to use his mobility, staying away, using the ropes, using the full 18 and a half feet or so circumference of this ring. Sehar so getting in with a right hand of his own. That's the first time he's really landed that shot with any power. Could be, could be suicide tactics because that left up to the body looks ferocious. Cal Brook, an interested, interested observer in the corner of Jamie McDonald himself. A would-be world title challenger, frustratingly because of injury, the opportunity to take on Devon Alexander for the third time has slipped through his grasp. Devon Alexander with a fight of his own against Lee Purdy coming up. Good shot from Seha. Nice left hook in reply there by, by Jamie McDonald. Mexican corner imploring Seha to get onto the front foot to seize the initiative. They'll probably believe that he's got to win these rounds big here in Doncaster if he's going to get the verdict. Punch is thrown after the bell and that's not good. How Foster straight on the Mexican's case. A few boos are from the crowd and rightly so. Not good. Oh, they were solid shots on as well after the bell. That was a little bit annoyed by Teo. That's Calbrook. Giving Jamie a few well-chosen words. 
You scored that one to say, huh? You can't call it. I did, yeah. Again, he was landing the better shots. Jamie's just holding his feet too much. He needs to stay mobile. Certainly early on in the fight. Let's say how walk on to shots. But it's easier said than done against a good pressure fighter who knows how to cut the ring down. Some, sometimes they don't give you anywhere to go. The engine power certainly seems to lie with say, huh? Well, Hal Foster, I'm sure, will uh, make sure that they touch gloves and he's having another word with say, huh? So away we go into the fourth round. So often say has fights have been over by this stage. And McDonald, having perhaps shaded the opening round, has on our card anyway conceded the next two. This is better now. Jamie's using his feet more, getting more mobile. This cute little right hand over the top of the tempted left hand leader say, huh? Needs to use that reach advantage. Yeah, that was a nice stiff jab as well. Say hi, came in. Just wants to try and frustrate him a little bit and not allow him to get that body shot off because every time he lands with it, it gives him confidence. <laughs> this is much, much better by, by, by McDonald. He's not staying still, he's keeping mobile, and he's tying say hard up when he comes close. That's Ooh, a lovely right. body shot from McDonald. And now say hard tries to return it with interest. Starting to warm up here in the fourth round. Come on, Jamie. The chance reverberating around the stadium. Nice little left up there on the way out. Landing some good shots in this round. Seems to be growing in confidence here, McDonald's. Though he's realised that he's felt the power that Seha's capable of throwing at him. And he's taken it, and now he's throwing his own shots with a little bit more confidence and using his mobility well. Yeah, his card has obviously told him to use a lot more lateral movement to get out of the way. And he has done that this round, it's a much better round for him. That's good for him, so. A little bit on the low side, that lifts up to the body then. Shaping up to be a tough fight, this one. A terrific uppercut, it was the right hand from Sayha. But Donald takes it well. Most eye-catching punch of the fight so far from Seha. McDonald now a little bit too flat-footed, and Seha's got him where he wants, right in front of him. McDonald just needs to get his concentration back and to get mobile once more. Yeah, although McDonald's having more success this round, he's being made to work every second of every minute. And got a good round, this one, Jamie. It is much more work from both guys, especially McDonald, but it's going to be physically tough to keep this up for 12 rounds, John. Well, McDonald had the greatest success in that round, even though the biggest shot, the biggest scoring shot, was that uppercut from Seha. For the bulk of the round, though, I just got the impression that McDonald really raised his game. Yeah, it was a much, much better round for, for Jamie McDonald then. He, he established his jab. Better, better foot movement, that was, a, that was a nice right uppercut though, took it well. Did McDonald do enough to take it? I don't think so, John, even though he was better working and he needs more of it. Yes, same half right. cutting the ring off. Yes, well. just keep it close, keep it, it. Just keep it. They're not good even pressure. breathing. They're not even breathing. Just keep it moving, big, big. Here in Jamie McDonald's backyard. McDonald had a better round in the fourth. On Jamie Moore's card, not good enough though. Started this round well again, John. London, a nice right hand and a nice sharp jab. Seems to be growing in confidence. Although despite the 
Despite the big attack from Seha in the closing minutes of that round, there was an argument for McDonnell in the last one. It was a closer one. He was, was right. right. Yeah, you're right. There was an argument. I just... Uh, listen, I, I, I'm looking for Jay Maddow to, 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 to win round and, and obviously win this fight. I'm, I, you know, I, I won't hide behind the that fight, but if I'm scoring honestly, I've got, to, I've got to score it how I see it. And he just, you know, it was a very, very close round as far as saying hi, just about nicked it. Nice from McDonald. Not a lot from the Mexican in the opening minutes. In his corner, a little bit animated, waving him forward, trying to get him to put more pressure on McDonald. I think he was right during the last round. I think he's felt a say high power. I don't think he's too troubled by it, and he's, he's willing to take more risks now. Boxing nicely in this round, McDonald. In and out. Landing the scoring shots and then getting away and making say high look a little bit clumsy. Exactly, exactly what I was asking for. Early on in the fight, John, he's using his feet a lot more now, which is giving him more success. This is what McDonald needs. This is the pattern of the fight if he's going to win it. Yeah, he needs to keep Seha coming forward and moving. When, when, he, when he's allowed to plant his feet, Seha, he loses his power. That's a nice right hand power over the top. Seha's right hand sort of reaches with that and doesn't throw it with anything like the authority that he does the left. And McDonnell has had the footwork to stay away from danger in this round while picking up scoring shots of his own. This is really sweet boxing from McDonnell. Again, Seha just punching thin air. Mexican looking a little bit frustrated in this round. Yeah, he switched southpaw, John, which to me tells me that he's not happy the way the round's going and he's trying something different. And a sweet right hand over the top from McDonnell. This is lovely, lovely boxing by Dan McDonnell in this round. Well, this is absolutely top quality stuff. Attack from Seha in the last few seconds, but not enough. That's been a real quality three minutes from Jamie McDonald, but then the big right hand just on the ball. But that is a good, good round for McDonald. Yeah, biggest round of the fight for McDonald. Tell you what, John, I think he's found the key to win this fight. He can keep his side from He's found out a strategy and a way of well, breaking down Seha. Footwork here. Yeah, and it's not just a footwork, John. He's timing his shots well. When, when Seha's coming in, he's dropping the right hand over. He's knowing when to turn him, getting up on angles. Lovely, lovely boxing. For somebody who promises or rather quotes himself as not being a student of boxing, he looks very well versed in the nuances. Yeah, very well schooled. You know, just he's successful, you have to go for it more. You know what I mean? That from McDonald, and that's got the crowd going. Sixth round, it's 3 2 to Seha on Jamie Moore's card. Is that right? Yeah, I've got it three rounds to two. And I'll tell you what, John, that fifth round could be a pivotal round in this fight because for me, Jamie McDonald realised he could win this fight now and he knows how to beat him. McDonald's manager, Dennis Hobson, has been known to have the odd punt or two, and uh, he certainly fancied the odds for this one, which made McDonald quite a big outsider. So he has come out fast in this round, trying to regain, retake the initiative. McDonald's still using his speed to frustrate and landing a lovely right hand, beautiful shot. Yeah, he's landed that a few times up to now, Johnny. Nice sharp car right hand over the top. He tries it again there. Oh, terrific.
terrific right hand, blurring hand speed again from McDonnell. And he caught say how pretty much flush with that right hand and really stopped the Mexican in his tracks momentarily. Yeah, and when he's moving laterally all the time, John, he, he doesn't allow Seha to set his feet for that left hook. Nullifies everything what he's good at. Seha clumsily lunging forward and missing by a distance. Oh, good body shot by McDonnell as well there. Say are just looking a little confused by what's coming back at him at this stage. Has, as you say, that fifth round been a pivotal moment. Say are looking for a big finish to this sixth. Yeah, it looks like he's struggling to find any sort of rhythm. Clash of heads. And the referee warned the two of them. The warning, clear, unequivocal. Good body shot. First for some time from Seha, and McDonald felt that one. Mexican corner urging their man to come forward and land big shots in the closing seconds of this round. He's not landed a lot, no. but in the last 20 seconds or so, he's had his most purposeful work. Yeah, scored that one to McDonald again, John. I just felt he had the better way. He's definitely asking questions of himself now. You can see in his face. Single right hands. Left up, don't try and up to more. Get your jab out. Long title, baby. Boxing beautiful. The crowd bellowing their support. It's that right hand that just stopped Sayer in his tracks. Heads clash there. Six of one and a half dozen of the other, I think. Yeah, well, some, sometimes it's inevitable head clashes. Especially when you've got a, a pressure fighter like Sayer coming Seven forward. Down. You're a brave lad to have your shirt off watching, never mind fighting. his game again into the second half of the fight and this is where McDonald said that he would be the stronger the fitter and no more by the looks of it say house corner sold him to try and land the right hook to the body instead now because he started this round and he's, he's through he's through three or four of them lovely right hand from McDonald again over the top of say who is just a little bit predictable with those left hands. One of them definitely strayed low there, and there's a big roar of protest from the McDonald corner. Heads coming close again. Say how landed a decent left hook on the on the side of the head then. McDonald being made a little bit more static now. Perhaps it's the body shots which is just telling a little. Or maybe that he's just standing more flat-footed here, trying to get more into his punches. Yeah, I think he's found a nice rhythm, John. He's letting his shots go nice. Oh, great right hand again. Yeah, love the shot. He's, he's in and out of range now. He's, he's moving around well. So yeah, took it well, though. Say how struggling to land anything of any significance at the minute. Left hand to the head from Say how did get through, but then back comes McDonald. It's turning out to be an enthralling fight, this one. Good body shot by McDonald there as well. 
was a little bit of a feeling within the trade that this just might be the fight of the weekend in the British ring. And it's really warming up here in this seventh round. McDonnell is fighting beautifully. Sehan trying as he always does to put the pressure on off the front foot. Nice right hook downstairs from Sehan. He struggled in this round again though. A lovely balance about McDonnell. And he looks brimful of confidence now. He looks as though he's somebody as that round ends, round seven ends, and Dennis Hobson gets onto his feet to urge the crowd to roar on their support. Jamie McDonald now has the look of a man who believes he can win. Yeah, he's got a lovely rhythm going. He's growing confidence as the fight's gone on. He's got and for me, he's got a lot of confidence. Much indeed, John. Well, Kel, you're here to support your mate Jamie. How do you think he's getting on? Yeah, I think he's getting into the fight now. He's using his feet very well. For me, I think that he needs to be working more around. I think this kid, you know, uh, he's running out of ideas. So, Jamie, he did, you know, it's all for Jamie to do now. Now, just, he's got to keep him long. He's got to keep him away from the body as well, hasn't he? He's got to keep away from the body. He's using the ring well. You know, he's got to be pumping the jab out, bo boxing him, you know, and then spinning off and, and you know, use, using the ring as, as efficient as he can. The score is so far, how? It's very close at I'm just, I'm very close. Thanks, Kel. We go into the eighth round on an hour card. Jamie McDonnell now has edged ahead. He's won the last three rounds. At least that's the way we make it. You can keep the, if you can keep this style going, then this now looks a winnable fight. Good start though in this round from Sayer. Yeah, it was a very experienced Carnivan in Natural Venice time. I think he'll have told him, listen, don't let this fight run away from you. You need to take the initiative. Get on him, put a little bit more pressure on Jamie. Jamie's watching the look, he's found a great, great rhythm. He told to keep his punches up as he saw in that last intervention by the referee, Howard Foster. That's not for Howard Foster as well, he's a Doncaster man. We're enjoying being here, officiating on the biggest night for boxing in this, in this place for some considerable time. I was going to say town, I'm not sure he's not been given city status now, Doncaster. He's thrown that right hand over the top, and again, he's thrown that really right, McDonald. The more desperation about Sarah's work. I'll tell you what, John, for the third time there, say hi. Just he stops in his tracks and backs up a little bit. Right hand again, over the top from McDonald. Now the left hook. Has to keep his shape though, doesn't want to get too gun ho. Say hi, still dangerous. He's firing back, he feels like he's under pressure, but this is lovely work by Dave McDonald. There's a right hand again, a quality shot.
close up to the body as well. He's mixing it up, Wuvler. There's that right hand. Didn't land with quite the power, which I'd initially thought from the angle that we were watching it, but he came back beautifully. That was a decent shot, but he took it well. The dream lives here for Jamie McDonald. He is sensing that he can now become Doncaster's first world champion. We've got him ahead on our cards. Four rounds to go. Big fast start from Seha, whose mouth is now starting to look a little bit bruised and battered. A legacy of those right hands, I'm sure, which have thudded into his face. Yeah, it also looks like he's hanging over a little bit, John, as if he's maybe struggling a little bit with his breathing. Oh, terrific again from McDonald, switching the attack beautifully from head to body. to realise that he could take it. And he's just grown in confidence the further the fight's gone from the fifth moment. McDonald's been boxing quite beautifully. And a good round in the fourth as well. Yeah, his confidence is growing and growing, John. He's more comfortable standing in a trading now with Seha. But the power's going out to Seha's work at the moment. Speed and the poise looks as though it's with the Englishman. Let's say that I'm not looking at the dynamic and was as powerful as he was earlier on. It was a little bit ragged. Starting fast again. 
as he has done in the last three or four, but McDonnell keeps his composure. It's a good right hand from Sayah. Yeah, he kept just got to be careful. Sayah's going to start getting desperate now. He feels like he's behind. Which he surely is.
Seha has a relentless forward march, so... Good shot from McDonald, lovely left hook. That will be going to say he's only that a few times in the last couple of rounds. And a stylist McDonald is being forced to go into the trenches here. Seems 
same way that we do. Julio Seyhart, they thought he was going to be a new Mexican superstar. Instead, we have a new Yorkshire superstar, it would seem. Master of Ceremonies, Phil Seymour now up in the ring. I think he has the card in front of him. And I think now just how the three wise men have scored it and whether Britain has a new world champion. Let's see if we can find out. I think he's struggling to get the fighters together. Jamie McDonnell looks so relaxed beforehand. Just took a round or two to find out what Seha was all about. And then, well, for me, it was masterful. A lot of people in the ring, but we can just about manage to see the fighters and the master of ceremonies. Let's hope that he can see us now calling for the results. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, could you please put your hands together for both boxers? After 12 rounds of boxing, we go to our judges' scorecards. We have a majority decision. 
judge Holger Wieman scores the contest 114, 114, a level draw. Judge Alfredo Polanco scores the contest 115, 113. Judge Dave Paris scores the contest 118, 110. In favour of your winner and new IBF Bantamweight Champion of the World from Doncaster, England, Jamie McDonald. If you've witnessed this tonight, you've seen something special. Scenes of jubilation here in South Yorkshire. Fantastic scenes here at the Kimo Stadium, Jamie. And just watching Julio Sejan leave the arena in tears. He can't believe it, but we can. And surely Jamie, the deserving victor, no doubt about it. Oh, hey, listen, it, Jamie Maddell deserves to win that fight. First, first two or three rounds, he held his feet too much, didn't use enough lateral movement. But he figured, that he figured out how to win. He, he worked out himself, his corner asked him for more lateral movement. He found a nice rhythm and he just pulled away and pulled away and he fought a beautiful fight. I'm over the moon for him. I mean, again, also as well, keeping it at a distance in the latter rounds, but he was coming in and obviously going toe-to-toe -to -toe at times as well, but he, yeah. he, he just grew in confidence, even though he's tiring, obviously, in the latter rounds. Well, He'd been the 12 rounds before as well, of course. Of course, yeah, we, we mentioned before, and he had to take him into the later rounds to take that sting out of him, and then he'd be in a position to be able to hold his, hold his ground and, and stand and trade with him more, which he was, he was doing towards the end, and he got shook up a little bit in, the, I think, the 11th, uh, in the 10th or the 11th, it, but he also shook uh, Sehar up in the, in the 11th, so tremendous, tremendous form. He's made history, first world champion from Doncaster. How good does he feel at this point in time? Oh, mate, it, th this will be the, probably the best feeling he ever has in, in, in his life. It'll be an amazing, amazing feeling. It's an amazing achievement. He's, he, he should be proud of himself. Now, you said it before the fight, you call it pretty much as it panned out. If he was looking at that again, is there anything in that that would disappoint him? Or is it a case of, no, it's a world title, forget all of no, that? No, yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, the only thing I would have done differently was more lateral movement in the first two or three rounds. But he figured it out, he, he, he realised the mistake he was making by holding his feet, and then he, he just pulled away. Well, I'll tell you what, the